Former CIA pilot John Lear says, there are millions of aliens living on the moon. Former CIA pilot John Lear gave an interview that has completely surprised the world. Lear has declared controversial information, such as names, details, and the range of 250 million humanoid aliens that, according to him, live on the moon. As if that was not enough, Lear has also reported that below the surface of the moon, there are urban areas where races of gray extraterrestrials live. And according to the former CIA pilot, in these underground facilities, there are laboratories where genetic experiments are carried out, he says. John Lear is well known and controversial character in the UFO community. In the 80s and 90s, he gave revelations referring to top secret information about extraterrestrial activity. At that time, Lear said, in 1953, an alien ship crashed and captured an alien extraterrestrial we call EB-3, which then helped the U.S. government to build some spacecraft with extraterrestrial technology. In 1962, we had vehicles that could go not go faster than the speed of light, like alien vehicles, but fast enough to reach the moon in 60 seconds, he claims, and a few hours to go to Mars, he claimed. The first flight to Mars took place in 1966. Even on the Red Planet, there are around 600 million alien beings and some human colonies, John Lear said. According to Lear, NASA has edited the photographs taken by Apollo missions 8, 10, and 11 to prevent some secrets of the moon from being revealed. And these photographs were published in 1971 in the NASA book SB2-46. Despite the editing of images, it's still possible to see a city, a spatial base, pipes, roads, vegetation, air, atmosphere, 66% of gravity compared to Earth, lights, mining operations, and a nuclear reactor. To do this, extraterrestrial collaboration was needed since many buildings on the moon were already there before the operations began. This has been done for the last 40 years John's father had been involved in anti-gravity technology programs in the mid-1950s, a completely secret technology today. According to Lear, everything we know about the moon is a government sham with a specific object objective of hiding its extraterrestrial activities and programs. He also says that the government has hidden the fact that there are many planets in the universe like our Earth, John Lear said, I cannot prove it or I would already be dead. I cannot show you an image of the USS Enterprise up there now. It's precisely what makes sense to know the technology obtained after the US government. I have injected billions or, or trillions of dollars into all of Tesla's investigations, John Lear said. And that's not all. Lear also gave another statement, which may be the most surprising of all. Lear said that our planet is actually a planetary prison and serves as a prison institution where prisoners must reach a higher level of consciousness. Surprising statements, like the previous one, logically needed evidence. Unfortunately, Lear has no way to prove it. And as he says, if he had them, he would already not, be, not have been among us. We're aware that other researchers who have come close to the truth have ended their days in strange ways. Although these stories sound like fantasy, we can't rule them out. First, world governments carry out secret projects, invest in advanced technology, and have great secrets that they refuse to declassify. Little by little, we will know the truth, and the truth is more fascinating than fiction. And this is on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. I kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.